If you were an animal, what species would you belong to and what would you look like? If I were an animal, I would be a majestic snow leopard, adorned with a luxurious coat of spotted fur, gracefully navigating the mountainous terrain. If you were a flower, what kind of flower would you be and how would you look? If I were a flower, I would be a radiant sunflower with golden petals stretching toward the sky, emanating warmth and positivity. If you were a work of art, what would you be? If I were a work of art, I would be a surreal abstract painting, filled with vibrant colors and intricate patterns, inviting viewers to explore the depths of their imagination. If you were a tarot card, which card would represent you and how would it be visually depicted? If I were a tarot card, I would be the magician, depicted with symbols representing creativity, knowledge, and adaptability, surrounded by the energy of transformation. If you were a landscape, what would it look like? If I were a landscape, I would be a serene Japanese Zen garden, with meticulously arranged rocks, lush greenery, and a calming atmosphere that fosters contemplation. If you were a mythical creature, what would you be? If I were a mythical creature, I would be a phoenix, rising from the ashes with vibrant plumage, symbolizing renewal, resilience, and the cyclical nature of life. If you were a book cover, what would the design be? If I were a book cover, I would feature an elegant, minimalist design, with a subtle blend of deep blues and silvers, hinting at mystery and intellectual depth. If you were a movie poster, what would it depict? If I were a movie poster, the poster would depict a starlit sky over a vast, mystical landscape, inviting viewers to embark on an epic and enchanting journey. If you were a fashion trend, how would people dress? If I were a fashion trend, people would dress in ethereal, flowing fabrics and earthy tones, embracing a harmonious blend of comfort, sophistication, and a touch of whimsy. If you were a dessert, what would be the ingredients and presentation? If I were a dessert, I would be a decadent dark chocolate mousse layered with raspberry compote, topped with edible gold leaf for a touch of elegance. If you were a city skyline, how would the architecture and landmarks appear? If I were a city skyline, the skyline would showcase a fusion of futuristic skyscrapers and historic landmarks, symbolizing a harmonious coexistence of tradition and innovation. If you were a superhero, what would be your costume and special powers? If I were a superhero, my costume would be a sleek, futuristic suit in shades of cosmic blue, and my special power would be the ability to inspire and empower others through positive energy. If you were a weather phenomenon, what would the atmospheric conditions be like? I would be a gentle, refreshing breeze on a sunny day, bringing comfort and a sense of tranquility to those who experience it. If you were a technological invention, what would be your purpose and features? If I were a technological invention, I would be a versatile augmented reality device, seamlessly integrating information and enhancing users' understanding of the world around them. If you were a jewel what would it look like? If I were a jewel, I would be a multifaceted sapphire, reflecting a spectrum of deep blues and symbolizing wisdom, intuition, and spiritual enlightenment. If you were a feeling, what would you be? If I were a feeling, I would be the warm embrace of contentment, a gentle and reassuring sensation that envelops you in a sense of peace and fulfillment. If you were visually depicting a dream, how would it be? If I were visually depicting a dream, the dream would unfold in surreal hues of twilight, where floating islands adorned with luminescent flowers drift across a starlit sky, creating a dreamy and enchanting atmosphere. If you were a quality, what trait would you possess? If I were a quality, I would possess the trait of resilience, the ability to endure challenges with unwavering strength and bounce back from adversity with a renewed sense of determination. If you were a default, what would it be? If I were a default, I would default to fostering empathy, creating an environment where understanding, compassion, and connection are the foundation of interactions and relationships.